Hey guys, I'm here. Welcome back to our vascular sonography registry review. Feel free to pause the video after I ask the question and give you enough time to answer it before I answer it. Let's dive back into this thing. A patient returns to the hospital six months after receiving a PTFE Gore-Tex synthetic fistula. During the exam, you calculate a volume flow of 250 milliliters per minute and compare it to the 800 milliliters per minute recorded three months ago. How do you interpret this finding? A, normal volume flow. B, inflow artery stenosis. C, outflow obstruction, or D, still syndrome? The answer is B, inflow artery stenosis. What can you expect to observe in a post-op endarterectomy patient six months after surgery? A, carotid bulb dilatation, B, high resistance flow in treated area, C, intimal hyperplasia, or D, palpable thrill or brewy. The answer is C, intimal hyperplasia. Click in the area where potential energy is the lowest. So where would you click in this image? The answer is right here, right in the middle of the stenosis. This is where potential energy is the lowest. What can you expect to observe in a post-op endarterectomy patient four months after surgery? A. Restenosis of the surgical area. B. Uniformly high velocities to the treated area. C. Intimal thickening around stent. Or D. Recurrent atherosclerosis disease. The answer is B, uniformly high velocities through the treated area. Click in the area of the aorta where the diaphragm will be located. The answer will be right around this region here and the diaphragm will extend out to here and to here. A patient returns to the hospital one week later after receiving an AVM complaining of leg swelling and severe shortness of breath. You evaluate the AVM and calculate a flow volume of 2100 milliliters per minute and compare it to the 850 milliliters per minute three days ago. How do you interpret these findings? A. Symptoms are not related to AVM. B. Severely stenotic AVM. C. Congestive heart failure or D, Steele syndrome. The answer is C, congestive heart failure. Click in the area where May Thurner syndrome will be seen. The answer is right in this region here. Click in the area where you see eddy currents. The answer is right here. Click in the area where pressure energy is the lowest. The answer is right here, right in the middle of the stenosis. This is where pressure energy and potential energy are the lowest.
which is not related to an increased viscosity? A. Severe anemia. B. Higher hematocrit. C. Higher resistance. Or D. Energy loss from heat. The answer is A, severe anemia. This will actually decrease viscosity. What does the CT angio show? A, Lariche syndrome. B, Maythurner syndrome. C, Bud Chiari syndrome. Or D, thoracic outlet syndrome. The answer is A, Lariche syndrome. Which best describes thoracic outlet syndrome? A, compression of left iliac vein by the right iliac artery. B, compression of left splenic vein by the aorta and SMA. C, compression of the celiac trunk by the median arcuate ligament. Or D, compression of the subclavian artery by an accessory first rib. The answer is D, compression of the subclavian artery by an accessory first rib. Which best describes Maythurner syndrome? A, compression of left iliac vein by the right iliac artery. B, compression of left splenic vein by the aorta and SMA. C, compression of the celiac trunk by the median arcuate ligament. Or D, compression of the subclavian artery by an accessory first rib. The answer is A, compression of left iliac vein by the right iliac artery. You are evaluating the popliteal vein for venous insufficiency. What will cause blood flow to flow above the baseline? A, release of mid thigh. B, compression of popliteal vein. C, compression of mid calf. Or D, release of mid calf. The answer is D, release of mid-calf. When repeating a VRT with PBGs, how do you isolate the deep venous system from the superficial system? A, perform the Valsalva maneuver. B, use a tourniquet. C, have the patient lift the affected leg. Or D, remove the tourniquet. The answer is B, use a tourniquet. Which is not an alternative for using a tourniquet when performing a venous filling index examination? A, compression socks, B, photopathismography, C, air pathismography, or D, blood pressure cuff. The answer is A, compression socks. Normal venous filling during a physiologic test should be A, slow, B, fast, C, rapid, or D, quick. The answer is A, slow. Which is considered a normal VRT when using PPGs? A, 25 seconds, B, 3 seconds, C, 15 seconds, or D, 19 seconds. The answer is A, 25 seconds. If any of you have any questions about your upcoming vascular boards, feel free to email me at ultrasoundboardreview at dmail.com or you can personally text or call at 435-922-1635. If you're looking to purchase mock exams, go to my website, 
ultrasoundboardreview.com or type in Google Ultrasound Board Review. Click the top link. Click enter the pass zone. Scroll down until you see vascular sonography mock exams. Click on it. Scroll down and then click subscribe. Or if you're looking for more of a one-on-one -on -one vascular sonography tutoring, go back to that first page, scroll down until you see vascular sonography tutoring. Click on it, scroll down, and then click subscribe. I'm Jim with Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.